Hello, Namaste, Adab. I am Lalit Kumar, and in this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to use login controls. But uh, you should first create a user account by using SP.NET website administrator tool. So I am going with first go to file new. Please remember before using login controls you first have to create a database or your account ok so I'm going with this section visual C sharp go with web and in this template section I will choose ASP.NET empty web application and now comes to name so put any name one to that uh, login login page 2 because uh, I have already worked with login page so I am I'm taking login page 2 so and please click OK button and it will take hardly 4 to 5 seconds I'm creating you can see creating project login page 2 here it is and you can see in this solution explorer you have login page 2 login page 2 go with it and tick right button and go to so you no need to now go with these things just go with project here it is you can see project ASP.NET configuration ASP.NET configuration so this is my you can see there is a browser and this is my localhost browser not I'm using internet so here you can see current username Lalit PC yeah there is a very important thing before going to going to create your user account you must have Microsoft SQL Server management studio in your system and if you don't have then please go to Google type Microsoft sorry Microsoft SQL Server so for management studio 2012 so I think this was a very updated version and I'm already using this version so go with Microsoft SQL Server 2012 go here and uh, you can see here yeah, the very various versions according to operating system so if you have I think if you have a 32 bit so go with this x86 SQL Express Advance and go with download and after download please install and after installing you will find SQL SQL Server Management it will taking hardly 10 or 15 seconds yeah it is so this is your Microsoft SQL Server Management issue you have must this setup in your system or you can say you must have installed in your system before going, going with your creation of user account so just close or you can say not close just connect at at least one time or with connect and now it is connected so just close now go with visual studio and uh, where I was yeah 
that was biz and go with security and here it is and if you find this type of message in the user section the current authentication type is windows and user management from within this tool is therefore disabled so please click on this select authentication type and choose this radio button from the internet and go here done and now come in user create user so no need to put your database table or any type of codes so put your username I think I'm going to put admin 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 password p a s s w o r d and with dollar sign I'm taking a non alpha numeric sign that you can take uh, at the rate of has dollars and please again put your confirm password password dollar sign enter your email address my email address admin at the rate of gmail.com security question my fair book dot net and yeah and click on create user no need to and go to continue so now here you can create more than one user account so no need to go with it now here come with Visual studio so no go on sorry add add and go with new item choose web form in this template section uh, remember this is in web section this is web form no need to change click add and here it is you can see and go with go in design view yeah here it is the deep part go to toolbox and go in login yeah here it is login and just drag and drop or just double click on this login so here it is login and choose one more page for this new item take again waveform and name it is waveform2 add and uh, type here h1 for your verification and for your convenience this is my second page or after login page sorry yeah okay and now come to waveform 1 not in and go to properties here it is properties and find destination page URL think destination page yeah here it is choose waveform 2 because you have to go after click on login page login button you have one page that will show you are successfully login so click OK and uh, my browser Firefox save and run okay it will hardly take 5 or 10 seconds yeah here it is my username was yeah admin and password was p a double s w o r d dollar sign no thanks okay, wait a minute admin so p a double s o r d dollar sign yeah you can see this is my waveform 2 dot page and that one this is my second page after login and this is my first page on localhost 